Hello students, welcome to Vyas Certification Quota. In this series of NCERT discussion, we are dealing with class 12th chapter matrices and today we are going to talk about exercise 3.4 of matrices. This exercise is based on finding the inverse of a matrix, inverse of a square matrix. We will see what are the questions provided in this exercise 3.4 one by one. Let us talk about this question over here. The question says using elementary transformations find the inverse of each of the matrices if it exists in exercises 1 to 17. Now what is the process of finding inverse using elementary transformations? Let us take a look at that first. In short, I will explain that process first. What is the process of finding inverse? Using elementary row transformations, if you want to find inverse, what do you write? The you write the matrix A equals in case of in case of row transformations, you have to write the identity matrix before they say A is equal to the product I A, right? Since multiplication is a row by column multiplication, this is a row by column multiplication and row transformation simultaneously can be applied on this and this matrix, right? And by applying various row transformations, we try to convert this particular matrix in identity matrix. This particular matrix would be equal to something else now and this A remains as it is. At this stage, at this stage, we can say using the using the definition of inverse that B, the matrix B is actually A inverse. A, A inverse is equal to I. That's what you can observe. Okay. During these steps, during these steps, if in any case, if in any case you get all zeros in a particular row, if you get all zeros in a particular row, then at that stage you can say that the inverse of this particular matrix A does not exist, right? All zeros in a particular row, you would say that the inverse of this matrix does not exist. This is the important thing about row transformations. What happens in case of column transformations? In case of column transformations, we write it as this. Since multiplication is a row by column multiplication, row by column, simultaneous column operations on this and this are applied, right? On this matrix in the LHS A and on the RHS, the matrix I. We apply column transformations on these two matrices simultaneously, a series of steps to give us to convert this A in the matrix I. On the right hand side, this A remains as it is, this I will be transformed to some other matrix and yes, that B is my inverse of A. Once again, during this whole process, in case you get all zeros in a particular column, at, cert at some point of time, in case you get all zeros in a particular column, you say that inverse will not exist for this matrix, right? This is finding inverse using elementary row transformation or elementary column transformation. When the person says elementary transformation, you can use any of these methods, right? Either use this or use this. What else is important in case of finding inverse is, let's take a look at one more thing, that if, if A is a matrix and B is another matrix, if B is equal to if B is equal to A inverse, then the product AB will be equal to I or and the product BA will also be equal to I. This is used to check whether the inverse that you have found is correct or not. This is used, this process, this method can be, this particular equation can be used to check whether the inverse, the given inverse or the inverse that you have found for any given matrix, whether it is true, correct or not. For verification, yes, we can use this. Anything else in inverse? Uh, there's one more interesting thing in inverse. I'll talk about that as well. What is that an inter interesting thing? For a 2 by 2 matrix, for a 2 by 2 matrix, I can find inverse in any other, another approach, using another approach. What is that? A inverse for 2 by 2 matrix, let's say for A equals this matrix, A, B, C, D. Okay. We find something called now, this is for those people who have studied something called determinant, right? And who remember determinant, what determinant is? Determinant of A is this expression. This is AD minus BC. Determinant of A is AD minus BC. If this expression, if determinant of A is non-zero, if determinant of A is non-zero, then A inverse would be equal to 1 over determinant of A times another matrix and what is that matrix over here? Let us observe. The positions of A and D along the diagonal are interchanged and this becomes minus B, this becomes minus C. This is what I have. This is what I have. 
at the end of the day right so this is the inverse of any 2 by 2 matrix over here for any 2 by 2 matrix this is how you can find the inverse using this idea okay is this some kind of shortcut yeah this is a shortcut so this is true for any 2 by 2 matrix and once you know this what you can do is if you are given a 2 by 2 matrix in the question and you are asked to find the inverse using elementary transformation verification can be done with the help of this verification can be done with the help of this on the rough side you what you can do is you can find the inverse first and then do the calculations of elementary row transformations or column transformations they are pretty long calculations right we will have to write each and every step one by one that is something which we have to do anyhow we will be following that process of finding inverse that is elementary transformations process will be using this no we will not be using this over here but this is something which you should be aware of right right so keeping this in mind let us continue and begin with finding the inverse of this matrix over here we have seen the concepts related to this let us see the let us see how we find the inverse of this so uh, using elementary transformation let us use row transformations let us use row transformations okay so for row transformations we have to uh, write a as i a you may observe product is a row by column product that is what we learn in matrices right so matrix multiplication that we know of is a row by column multiplication and since row comes first this i and a this product a we can apply row transformation simultaneously on this a and this i and in at each stage the equality will hold right so let us write this matrix first this matrix is 1 minus 1 2 3 okay this is equal to identity matrix of order 2 0 1 times a this a will remain as it is right and now we will start applying the row transformations one by one now we will start applying the row transformations one by one on this this is equal to this times this or 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 what do you call over here is or we can probably think of since we want to convert this in the identity matrix this number should be 1 okay it is already 1 we are not supposed to worry too much about anything over here about this thing over here next what next in the first column we will try to create a 0 over here and how do we create a 0 can you observe that transformation elementary row transformation is required R2 this row 2 has to be replaced by R2 has to be replaced by R2 minus 2 times r1 what will this imply this implies that this row will be replaced by this minus twice this okay minus twice this what will that impact what how will that impact this matrix 2 times r1 2 times 1 would be 2 and 2 minus 2 this is r2 minus 2 would become 2 minus 2 and that will be the new value of this r2 right that will be the new value of this r2 so what do you get over here is the first row remains as it is and you have to subtract twice the first row from the second row okay so 2 minus 2 which is 0 3 minus of minus 1 into 2 basically into 2 so what you get over here is 3 minus 2 times minus 1 which will become 3 plus 2 which is 5 over here this is the LHS for us what about the RHS in the RHS also the first row remains as it is what about the second row the second row becomes r2 minus 2 times r1 this minus twice this okay this becomes minus 2 and 1 minus twice 0 that becomes 1 that remains 1 only right this is what you get very simple yes this is the first step and we have reached some stage over here what next after this 0 let us create a 1 over here the next thing that we are supposed to do is create a 1 over here using row transformation so we will have to replace this r2 by 1 by 5 r that is a simple transformation yeah so or this will be equal to what this is 1 minus 1 0 this becomes 1 over here and on the right hand side also you will apply the same thing this remains as it is r2 replaced by 1 by 5 this will become minus 2 by 5 this will become 1 by 5 over here times a this is what I get okay what next we will apply one more step we will apply one more step and create a 0 over here now do you create a 0 r1 will be replaced by r1 plus you can add this and you get a 0 over there right using this one will create a 0 and this further gives me 
R2 remains as it is. First of all, let us write R2 properly. What is R2 in this? This is minus 2 by 5, this is 1 by 5. Okay. And R1 will be obtained by R1 plus R2. This 1 plus 0 becomes 1. This minus 1 plus 1 becomes a 0. This 1 minus 2 by 5 would be 3 by 5. And 0 plus 1 by 5 would be 1 by 5. This is what you will be getting. Right? This is what you will get. As you can clearly see over here. Okay? And once you have reached this stage, which implies okay. I is equal to B A where b is equal to 3 by 5, 1 by 5, minus 2 by 5, 1 by 5 is equal to the A inverse, is equal to the inverse of matrix A. This is the inverse of matrix A as you can clearly observe, right? We have reached, we have started from this and we have reached this stage, right? And at this stage, this matrix B is the inverse of given matrix A as you can clearly observe. And yes, that is my answer for this question using elementary row transformations, right? Let us try and solve this one. What does this question say? We are supposed to find the inverse once again. We have discussed the concepts related to inverse already. And um, let us go about finding the inverse of this using elementary transformations. Uh, we have solved the first question using elementary row transformation. Let us solve this one using elementary column transformations, okay? So, we will use column transformations. For column transformations, we will write A equals A i. This is what I will begin with. Which implies A, the matrix A is 2, 1, 1, 1. Let us, let this A remain as it is. This identity matrix would be 1, 0, 0, 1. And we are supposed to apply column transformations to convert this matrix into an identity matrix. The first thing, what I will do is I will convert this into a 1. Then for column transformations, I will move in this direction after that. We will convert this into a 0. This is already a 1. If this remains a 1, then we will convert this into a 0, right? Okay. So, let us apply. Let us apply column transformation. C1 will be replaced by C1 times 1 by 2. This 2 has to be converted to 1, right? That is the first step that will apply. Or we can say that apply this transformation, what do you get? C1, C1 becomes half. So, this will be 1 and this will be 1 by 2. What about the second column? Second column will remain as it is. This is equal to A times, okay, what do you have? In the first column, you will be having 1 by 2, 0. This will remain as it is now. The second column remains as it is. Right. Once we are done with this, what next? We have to create a 0 over here, okay. And how do we create a 0? Simply subtract this 1 over here. So, C2 can be replaced by C2 can be replaced by C2 minus C1. C2 can be replaced by C2 minus C1. And what will this save us? This will give us 1. 1 by 2 is okay. This will become 1 minus 1, 0. 1 minus 1 by 2 would be minus 1 by 2. So, plus 1 by 2. 1 minus 1 by 2 would be plus 1 by 2. And what will you get over here? C2 is changed, right? 0 minus half would be minus 1 by 2. 1 minus 0 would be 1. This is half which is okay. This is 0 which is also okay. For now, this is what you get. Okay, so once you are done with this, this becomes a one. This becomes a zero. Next, we'll focus on this, and let's try to convert this into one first. How do we convert this into one? C two. This is column two. Now, column two will have to be replaced by something. Column two. Let's replace column two by column two times two. Right? This will convert into a one very easily. Yeah, this will convert into a one very easily, which implies. C1, let us first focus on C1. C1 remains as it is. This multiplied by 2 will be 0. This multiplied by 2 will be 1, which is equal to A times. This remains as it is. This is 1 by 2, 0. And you multiply a 2 over here. This becomes minus 1. This becomes 2. Okay. Minus 1 and 2. This is what you get. What else? What else? Next, what we are supposed to do is, we are supposed to create a 0 over here. For creating a 0 over here, we will have to use this one. Okay. Let us try to use this one. C1 is replaced by C1 minus half C2. Half times this will be subtracted from here. And therefore, we will get, therefore, we will convert this into C1 is replaced. C2 remains as it is. What will C1 become? C1 minus half. Oh, this is 1 only. And this now will become 0, right? Half minus 
half times 1 would be equal to 0. This is equal to A times this matrix. What is this matrix equal to? Let us take a look at this. C1 is now different. C2 remains as it is. So, let us write C2 first. C2 is minus 1, 2. C1 would be half minus of half times minus 1. Okay. Minus half times minus 1 will become plus half. Half plus half would be actually equal to 1 over here. What next? C1 minus 1 by 2 times 2. Okay. 0 minus 1 by 2 times 2. 0 minus 2 by 2 which is 0 minus 1. This is minus 1 over here. This is what you get and this is of the form i equals a times another matrix and that matrix would be a inverse. Therefore, a inverse is this matrix. 1, minus 1, minus 1 and 2. This is the matrix A inverse. You can verify that this matrix is A inverse using simple idea of matrix first. That is the product of these two matrices. Product of A with this matrix should be equal to identity matrix. That is one of the things. And is there any other approach? Yes, the shortcut approach which we saw in the first question. That is something else which you can use. These two get interchanged and these get a, give, are given a minus sign. And you will have to divide with 2 minus 1, that is 1, right? That is all. That is all for this question over here. Let us talk about this question. 1, 3, 2, 7. This is a matrix given to us and we are supposed to find the inverse of this matrix, okay? Let us try and find the inverse of this matrix using elementary transformations, mind you. And uh, this time I would like to use row transformations. This time I would like to use row transformations. By row transformations, yes, we will find the inverse using row transformations. Let us write this matrix as A equals for row transformations, we will have to write i before a, okay. And this implies this 1, 3, 2, 7 is equal to the identity matrix 1, 0, 0, 1 times a, okay. What else? We will try to convert this in the identity matrix. This element should be equal to 1. This was already 1. So, we need, do not need to apply any transformation for that. Next, try to convert this into a 0. Using row transformation, try to convert this into a 0. Okay. So, R2 will be replaced by 2 minus 2 times this. R2 minus 2 times R1. This is what we will replace it with. And what will that give us? R2 will change. This will remain as it is. 2 minus 2 will be 0. And 7 minus 6 would be 1. This is what I get. What about right hand side? In the right hand side, the first row remains as it is. 0 minus 2, this will become this, this is 0, this is A over here, okay. What next? This is 1 already done, this is 0 is done, the, we were supposed to create a 1 over here which is already there, no need to worry. Next, we will convert this into a 0. So, R1 will be replaced by R1 minus 3 R2, R1 minus 3 times R2, right. And on the LHS, what you get is 1, 0, 0, 1 which is equal to on the RHS, R1 has been interchanged, right? So, R1 will become 1 minus 3 times this. Minus 3 times minus 2 is 6. 1 plus 6 is 7. 0 minus 3 times this, minus 3. This will become minus 3. This is minus 2 and 1. This is matrix A for us. And yes, this will be the required inverse. Therefore, A inverse is equal to 7 minus 3 minus 2, 1. Since i is equal to a inverse times a and yes, this is my inverse using elementary row transformations. Very easy? Yeah, very easy. Let us try to solve this one. 2, 3, 5, 7. This is the matrix given to us and we are supposed to find the inverse of this matrix using transformations, elementary transformations. And which transformation would you like to use over here? Should we use row or column? We have been practicing alternate questions. Let us use column now. And how do we use column transformation over here? We'll have to write, let this matrix is A, okay? And we'll have to write A equals A i. I will be written on the, let's say, post multiplication, as post multiplier. I would be written as a post multiplier and then we'll replace this matrix A with 2, 3, 5, 7. And here I'm looking for column transformations, right? Let us practice column transformation in this question, right? What I am using are column transformations, okay? So, for column transformations, once again, we will have to convert this into a 1 first, okay? So, for this, in, for converting this into 1, C1 will be replaced by C1 times 1 by 2, right? So, that will give me 1, 5 by 2, 3 and 7 remain as it is and this will become 1, A is okay, this becomes 1 by 2, 0, 0 and 1. 
this is what you get. What next? After this, what you will do is, we will convert this into a 0, okay. We will move row wise, right. For column transformations, we apply column transformations, but we move elements. In terms of elements, we move row wise, right. This 3 will have to be converted into a 0. So, for converting this 3 into a 0, C2 has to be replaced by 3 minus 3 times C2 minus 3 times C1. This is what we require, right. Therefore, C1, C1 remains as it is. Let us write C1 first. C1 is 1, 5 by 2. It remains as it is. 3 minus 3 times 1 is 0. 7 minus 3 times this. 7 minus 15 by 2. What is that? 7 minus 15 by 2 is 14 minus 15 by 2 minus 1 by 2. This is what I get over here. This is minus 1 by 2. Is that okay? Yeah. Which is equal to A times another matrix. And what is this matrix? C2 minus 3 times C1. This first column 1 by 2, 0 remains as it is. We are not supposed to worry about it. The next column is something which we want to worry about. And what is that? This minus 3 times this. This minus 3 times 1 by 2. What is that? Minus 3 by 2. 1 minus 3 times 0 is only 1 only. This is what I get. Okay. Now we have simplified. We have converted this into 1. We have converted this into a 0. We have to convert this into a 1 now. So, let us try to convert this. C2 is replaced by minus 2 times C2. Okay. This will be multiplied by minus 2 to convert into a 1. Let us try to do that. What you get over here is this is 1, 5 by 2. They remain as it is. This is a 0. This becomes a 1, which is equal to A times this. 1 by 2, 0 remain as it is. What else? Minus 3 by 2 times minus 2 becomes a 3. 1 times minus 2 becomes a minus 2. As you may clearly observe. Right? This is what you get. After this, after this, we'll have to convert this into a zero. So C1 is replaced by C1 minus 5 by 2 C2. 1 times 5 by 2 will be subtracted from here. Right. And that will give us the first column will be converted into 1, 0, 0, 1, which is equal to A times this matrix. What is this matrix? This is 3, this is minus 2. That's not an issue. 3 minus 2 will remain as it is. And uh, C1, C1 has been replaced by C1 minus 5 by 2 C2. So, this minus 5 by 2 times this. What is this? 5 by 2 times this is 5, 3, 15 by 2, right? Okay. 1 by 2 minus 15 by 2. 1 by 2 minus 15 by 2 would be minus 14 by 2. Minus 14 by 2 is actually minus 7. This will be minus 7 out here. What else? 0 minus 5 by 2 times minus 2, okay? So, this becomes a minus 5 by 2 times minus 2 will be actually equal to 5. 0 plus 5 and that will be equal to 5. This will be equal to 5. Can you please observe this thing? Yes. This is minus 7, 3, 5, minus 2 and yes, therefore, A inverse is this matrix. Minus 7, 3, 5, minus 2. And whenever you are asked to find the inverse, you should always check your answer once. You should always check your answer once. Let us check. Let us check. A times A inverse. What is that equal to? The matrix A is 2, 3, 5, 7, right? This is a matrix A. 2, 3, 5, 7. What is the matrix A inverse? Let us check A inverse minus 7, 3, 5, minus 2. Let us check this matrix, right? Just to be sure that our answer is correct. This is minus 14 plus 15, which will become 1. 6 minus 6, which is 0, minus 35 plus 35, which is 0, 15 minus 14, which is 1, is equal to i, which is OK. This should be the identity matrix, and this is OK. Yes, that inverse, that is the correct answer for this question over here. This here is the correct answer. Let me get aside for a bit, so you can take a look at the complete solution. And that is all in this question over here. Let us solve this question. 2, 1, 7, 4. We are supposed to find the inverse. What kind of a transformation would you like to use over here? We have been using alternate transformations. Let us use row transformations this time. Let us call this matrix A and we will solve using row transformations. Right? So, for row transformations, the matrix I will be written as a pre-multiplier. Okay? And this A is 2, 1, 7, 4 and we will apply row transformation on this I simultaneously 1, 0, 0, 1. This A remains as it is. That A is not an issue. We will have to apply row transformations and the order in which we will apply row transformations is we have supposed to convert this into the 
identity matrix. So this will be converted to a 1, this will be converted to 0, then this 1, then this 0. That is what that is the order that which that will follow. Right. So apply row transformations. Okay. For row transformations, R1 will have to be if we convert this into a 1, R1 will be replaced by R1 times 1 by 2. What will that give me? Row 1. This will become 1, this is 1 by 2. This 7 and 4 remains as it is. What is that equal to? This is 1 by 2, 0, 0 and 1 over here. I hope that is okay. Yeah, that is pretty simple. What next? This element has to be converted to a 0, okay, using this 1. So, R2 will be replaced by R2 minus 7 times R1. 7 times 1 is 7, we will subtract that, right? And that will give me, this will be 1, 0. 1 by 2 is okay. 4 minus 7 times R1, right? 4 minus 7 times 1 by 2. What is that? 4 minus 7 by 2, which is 8 minus 7, whole divided by 2, 1 by 2. This is what I will get over here, right? Is that okay? Yeah. What about the right hand side? On the right hand side, this minus 7 times this, okay? That is what you will be getting in case of R2. R1 remains as it is, by the way. 0 minus 7 times 1 by 2, 0 minus 7 by 2, which is minus 7 by 2. 1 minus 7 times this, 1 minus 7 times 0, which is 1 only times a. This is what I get. Is that okay? Yeah. What else? Once you have converted this into a 1, this into a 0, next will convert this into a 1. So, for that R2 will be replaced by, for that R2 will be replaced by 2 times R2 and R1 remains as it is, which is equal to this. 2 times 1 by 2 will become 1. This is, okay, no. R1 will remain as it is. We are only applying the transformation as R2. 1 by 2 and 0 remain as it is. This becomes minus 7. This becomes 2 times 1, which is 2. And this is my matrix A over here. What next? One more step remains. And what is that? Let us convert this into a 0. So, half times this will be subtracted. R1 will be replaced by R1 minus half times R2. This is what you need to apply. R1 needs to be replaced by R1 minus half R2, which implies which implies R1. R2 remains as it is. This becomes a 0. This is a 1. This is a 1. And this now becomes a 0, which is equal to what? This times A. The second row remains as it is. This is minus 7. This is 2. This is minus 7. This is 2. And the first row, what does the first row convert to? R1 minus half times R2. What will this be equal to? Half minus 7 times minus half, minus 7 times minus half would be plus 7 times plus half, which will be equal to plus 7 by 2. Half plus 7 by 2, 1 by 2 plus 7 by 2 is 8 by 2, 8 by 2 is 4 actually, this will become a 4. 0 minus 1 by 2 times 2, 0 minus 2 times 1 by 2, 2 times 1 by 2 is 1, 0 minus 1 would be minus 1 over here. This is what I get and therefore A inverse is this matrix. 4, minus 1, minus 7, 2. This is my A inverse. This is the answer for A inverse, right? And whenever you are given a question to find the inverse using elementary transformations, verify your answer always. Verify. Let's check. That's my answer. A inverse. Let's check. The product of A, A inverse. What's the matrix A? The matrix A is already given to us. This is 2, 1, 7, 4. And we have found the matrix A inverse 4 minus 1 minus 7 2. It does not take very long to confirm. 2 times 4 is 8 minus 7 is 1. 2 times minus 1 is minus 2 plus 2 is 0. 7 4 7 into 4 is 28 minus 4 into 7 is again 28 which becomes a 0. 7 times 1 is minus 1. Sorry 7 times minus 1 is minus 7 plus 4 times 2 which is 8. 8 minus 7 is 1. This is okay. This is okay. And yes, therefore, we can say that this is my inverse matrix. This is A inverse for you all, right? Is that all? Yeah. Let's take a look at this complete question once again. And that will be all for this question. Let's discuss this question next. What does the question say? Using elementary transformation, we are supposed to find the inverse of this. And uh, what kind of a transformation can we use over here? Uh, we can use anyone for that matter. Let's use, uh, we have been using alternate, right? So let's use column transformations over here, okay? So, we'll use column transformations since we are using alternate, right? Okay, now how, what does column transformation say? Column transformation say is that you'll have to write i as the post multiplier, okay? And this gives me, let this matrix is A. So, 
this is 2, 5, 1, 3, which is equal to A times this identity matrix, 1, 0, 0, 1. On the LHS, we need to convert that into an identity matrix by converting A11 first. Then, since we are applying column transformations, we will have to cover the first row, first row, okay. So, let us focus on the first row, first row, this element should be 1, this element should be 1. Now, for making this element 1, we will have to apply column transformation C1 is replaced by C1 times 1 by 2, okay. This column 1 gets transferred, this becomes 1. This becomes a 1 over here, this 1 becomes a 1 by 2, that is a... That is the column transformation. This 5 and 3 remain as it is. This is equal to A times 1 by 2, 0, 0 and 1. Okay. What next? For applying column transformation, next is this element. This element should be equal to 0. After this one, we will convert this into a 0. So, C2, this minus 5 times this. This will convert that particular element A12 into a 0. So, C2, this 1 and 1 by 2 remain as it is, 5 minus 5 times 1 which is 0, 3 minus 5 by 2, 3 minus 5 by 2 would be 1 by 2, okay. This is equal to A times, what you have on the RHS is, C1 remains as it is, 1 by 2 and 0, 0 minus 5 times this, 0 minus 5 by 2 would be minus 5 by 2, 1 minus 5 times 0 is 1 only, this is what I have, right, is that okay, yeah. What else, what else? After you get 1 and 0 over here, we will convert this into a 1, this into a 1. So, let us replace C2 by C2 times 2. Or for that matter, that is the general process that we follow. Uh, can we apply another thing? Can we apply another idea? Yeah. Since this is already a 0, why not convert a 0 over here first? If you can, right? As you can clearly observe, this minus this would be a 0, right? We can do that as well. Is this some mischief? No, there is no mischief, but we can apply after this 1 and this 0, we should convert this into a 1, but we can also convert this into a 0. As you can clearly observe, that subtracting is making life very easy for us. So, C1 can be replaced with C1 minus C2 and this will give me 1 minus 0, which is 1, half minus half, which is 0, 0 and half remain as it is. This becomes equal to A times half minus of minus 5 by 2, that will half plus 5 by 2, which is 6 by 2, that becomes a 3. This minus this would become minus 1, this is minus 5 by 2, this is 1 over here, right? This is 1 over here. What next? This has to be converted into a 1. So, we will have to apply C2 replaced by twice C2, twice C2. Now, what does that give me? This gives me C1, 1, 0, 0, 1 is equal to A times 3 minus 1 minus 5, 2. This is what you will be getting. This is what you get. And therefore, A inverse is equal to 3 minus 5 minus 1, 2. This is A inverse for us. This is the value of A inverse for us. Yes. And uh, that is my answer. Yeah, that is my answer. Anything else which remains? Yeah, we should always verify the answer. We should always verify the inverse, inverse in case of inverse. So, let us find A in A inverse check. And this check can be done on in, in, if it is not asked in the question, it can be done in the rough as well, right? So, A, A inverse is equal to what? This is 2, 5, 1, 3, which is equal, sorry, times 2, 5, 1, 3 times 3 minus 5 minus 1, 2. What else? This is 6 minus 5, which is 1, minus 10 plus 10, which is 0, 3 minus 3, which is 0, minus 5 plus 6, which is 1 over here. And this is okay. This is the identity matrix, yeah. So, A, A inverse is equal to identity and therefore, this A inverse that we have found is correct, right? That is my answer for this question. You can take a look at the complete solution, yeah. We have used column transformations over here. Maybe in the next question, we will use row transformations, right? This is all for this question. Let us discuss this question. Using elementary transformations, find the inverse. So, in this question, uh, what kind of a transformation would you like to use over here? Now, we have been using alternate row and column transformations. It's time to take this question uh, using uh, row transformations. Let us use row transformations for this question. Let us call this matrix A, okay? And what we will be using is row transformation. For row transformation, what we require is that I should be written as a pre-multiplier. A is equal to I times A, right? This is a row by column transformation, row by column. So, I has to be written as a pre-multiplier on the right-hand side. 
what you have over here is a 3, 1, 5, 2, this matrix, I matrix is 1, 0, 0, 1, and this is matrix A, right, this is matrix A for us. What else? After this, we will try to convert this, transform this into an identity matrix by transforming this one. After that, since we are using row transformation, let us focus on the first column, right. So, let us replace R1 by R1 by 1 by 3 R1 and what we get over here is a 1, this is 1, 1 by 3, this is 5, this is 2, they remain as it is, this is 1 by 3, this is 0, this is 0, 1 and this is A, right, that is what you get. So, first element, the element present at location 1, 1, that is A 1, 1 has been converted to 1, next, next. Since we are applying row transformations, the first column has to be dealt with, this 5 has to be converted to a 0. So, R2 can be replaced by R2, this minus 5 times this, right, simply multiply it with 5 and subtract and what will that give us? The first row remains as it is, 1, 1 by 3. The second row, this element becomes 0, 2 minus 5 by 3, 2 minus 5 by 3 is 6 minus 5, that is 1 by 3 over here, this is what I get, okay. What next? This becomes equal to 1 by 3, 0, they will remain as it is. 0 minus 5 by 3, which will become minus 5 by 3, okay. 1 minus 5 times 0 is 1 only and this is matrix A for us. What next? Once you have this 1, this 0, let us convert this into a 1 or we can also subtract this, right? So, let us replace R1 by R1 minus R2 and R1 minus R2 will give us 1, 0, this becomes a 0, this is a 1 by 3, which is equal to this minus this, 1 by 3 minus or minus 5 by 3 will become plus 5 by 3, 1 by 3 plus 5 by 3 is 6 by 3, which is 2, 0 minus 1 would become minus 1, minus 5 by 3 remain as, as it is, this is 1, this is A. And now you can convert this into a 1, replace R2 by 3 times R2 and which gives me R1 becomes 1, 0, 0, 1, which is equal to this matrix over here, 2 minus 1 remain as it is, multiplied with 3, you get a minus 5, you get a 3 over here and times A. As you may clearly observe, this here is the inverse of that given matrix over there. Therefore, A inverse is equal to 2 minus 1 minus 5, 3. That is my answer for this question. But one very important thing, when you are given to find inverse using elementary transformation, always verify your answer. So, let us check. Let's check. A A inverse. Now, what is matrix A equal to? Matrix A is this three one five two. What is the A inverse that we have just found? We have found two minus one minus five, three. Okay. Let's multiply them together and see what we get. This is three times two six minus five is one three minus three and plus three which becomes a zero. Ten minus ten becomes a zero minus five plus six becomes a one. And yes, this is the identity matrix that implies that the inverse that we have obtained is correct. That is all. Yeah, that is all in this complete question over here. Let us take a look at this question. We are supposed to find the inverse of this matrix using elementary transformations and what kind of a transformation would you like to use? We will use row or column. We have been using alternate transformations and initially we had also discussed the process of row and column transformation. So, uh, for this particular matrix, we will use column transformations. Okay. Let us call this matrix A, let us call this matrix A and in case uh, you are wondering, column transformation would imply that I has to be written as a post multiplier, since this is a row by column multiplication, I has to be written as a post multiplier, post multiplier, which implies this is 4, 5, 3, 4, which is equal to A times 1, 0, 0, 1. Now, the important thing, the important thing is, we are supposed to convert this into an identity matrix. We will apply column transformations. Let us convert this into a 1. C1 is replaced by C1 divided by 4. What does it give me? This is 1, this is 3 by 4, this is 5 and 4. They remain as it is. This is A, this is 1 by 4, this is 0, this is 0, this is 1. That is what we have, right? What else? You have converted the first element, first row, first column, this into a 1. What next? After when you are applying column transformations, once you have converted this element, cover the first row, cover the first row. So, this 5 has to be converted into a 0. Let us do that. So, C2 can be replaced by C2 minus 5 C1. 5 times 1 can be subtracted and what will that give us? That will give us 
1 and 3 by 4 remain as it is. 5 minus 5 becomes 0. 4 minus 5 times 3 by 4. 4 minus 15 by 4. 4 minus 15 by 4. If you take the LCM, it becomes 4. 16 minus 15. That is 1 by 4 over here, which is equal to A times what about the RHS? In the RHS, C2 minus 5, C1. C1 remains as it is, 1 so 1 by 4 and 0. This minus 5 times this, okay? This becomes a minus 5 by 4. Pretty simple, 1 minus 5 times this becomes this. Okay, C2 minus 5 times C1, okay? What next? Once you have reached this stage, then this can be converted to 0 or this can be converted to 1. Okay, let's try to convert this into a 1. Very easy, yeah. So, C2 can be replaced by 4, C2. What does that give me? 1, 3 by 4 will remain as it is. This becomes 0, this becomes 1, which is equal to A is okay, 1 by 4 and 0 are also okay. This becomes minus 4, this minus 5, this becomes 4, right? Multiplication with 4. C2 is replaced by 4C2. Once you have 1 over here, we can convert this into a 0, right? Very easily. C1 is replaced by C1 minus 3 by 4, C2. This has to be multiplied with 3 by 4 and subtracted. So, what does that give me? This is 1, 0, this becomes a 0, this becomes a, this is a 1 over here, right? Which is equal to what? Which is equal to A times, matrix A times, this matrix over here, C1. C2 remains as it is, this is minus 5, this is 4. And what you have in C1 is 1 by 4, minus 3 by 4 times this, okay? 1 by 4, add minus minus will become plus 5 times 3 by 4 is 15 by 4 1 by 4 plus 15 by 4 is 16 by 4 which is 4 which is 4 next 0 minus 3 by 4 times this 0 minus 3 which is minus 3 that's what i'll get therefore a inverse is equal to 4 minus 5 minus 3 4 this is what i get 4 minus 5 minus 3 4 this is what i get and when you are asked to find the inverse, always verify, always verify. So let's check. Let's check A, A inverse, the product A, A inverse is equal to, the matrix A is 4, 5, 3, 4. And the matrix A inverse, that's what we have found over here, this is 4, minus 5, minus 3, 4. This is the matrix over here. What else? Uh, we'll multiply these two matrices together and let's see what you get. This is 4, 4, 16, minus 15, which is 1, minus 20, plus 20, which is 0, plus 12, minus 12, which is 0, minus 15, plus 16, which is 1. This is the identity matrix and yes, yes, the answer that we have obtained is correct. The inverse matrix that we have obtained, this is my required answer for this question over here. This is 8 part? Yeah, this is 8 part. Let's discuss this question. Using elementary transformation, we are supposed to find the inverse and which transformation are we going to use? Yes, we are going to use the row transformation over here, right? We have been using alternate and it's time to take a look at this question using row transformation. Since multiplication is row by column multiplication, i has to be a pre-multiplier. a equals i a and this is 3, 10, 2, 7, which is equal to i, 1, 0, 0, 1 times matrix A. This is what you have. And let's try to convert this 3 into a 1. We are using row transformations, R1 can be replaced by 1 by 3, R1. And what does this get me? This gives me 1, 2, 10 by 3, 7. Second row remains as it is, first row becomes, first row is divided by 3, okay. This becomes 1 by 3, 0, 0, 1 times A. What next? Once you are through with this, we can apply one more transformation and after converting this element into 1, since we are applying row transformation, we will cover the first column first, right? So this 2 has to be converted into 0. So R2 can be replaced with R2 minus 2 times R1. And what will that give me? That gives me 2 minus 2 is 0, gone. 7 minus 20 by 3. 7, 3 is a 21 minus 20 is 1 by 3 is what you get. This is 1 and 10 by 3, which is okay. This is equal to? R2 minus 2 times 0 minus 2 by 3, okay, 1 minus 0 which is 1 and this 1 by 3 and 0 remain as it is, this is a A, right, that's what we obtain. What next? This is 10 by 3, this is 1 by 3, we can convert this into a 1 very easily, R2 can be replaced by R2 times 3, 
that's very simple right so after this one this zero and this can be converted into a one what do you get one 10 by 3 this is a zero this converts to one and on the right hand side r2 gets multiplied with 3 r1 remains as it is this becomes minus 2 this becomes 3 this is a this is matrix a for us right what else this 10 by 3 has to be converted to a 0. So, R1 can be replaced with R1 minus 10 by 3 times R2. 10 by 3 times this one can be subtracted, which gives me this becomes 1, 0, 0, 1, which is equal to this matrix over here. Okay, R2 remains as it is. This is minus 2, this is 3, this is matrix A. Now, let us take a look at this very carefully. 0 minus 10 by 3 times 3, 0 minus 10. This becomes minus 10. Okay. 1 by 3 minus 10 by 3 times minus 2. That becomes plus 20 by 3. 1 by 3 plus 20 by 3 is 21 by 3, which becomes 7. So, therefore, A inverse, the matrix A inverse that we required was 7 minus 10 minus 2, 3. This is my answer. But please check the answer before you move any further. Please check the answer. Check. A, A inverse is equal to what? A, the matrix A is 3, 10, 2, 7. What is A inverse? A inverse is 7 minus 10 minus 2, 3. What is this equal to? This is 7, 3, 21 minus 10 to 20, 21 minus 20. Okay, minus 30 plus 30 is 0, 14 minus 14 is 0, minus 20 plus this, this is 1, this is also 1, which is okay. Yes. This is identity matrix, the product is identity matrix, therefore this is the inverse of given matrix over there. 3, 10, 2, 7, this is the inverse of that matrix over here as you can observe, right? That is all. Yes. Let us talk about this question, 10th. We are supposed to solve you and find the inverse using elementary transformations. Now, which transformation are we going to use? Let us use column transformation over here. Since we are using alternate, let us use column transformation, right? For one question, I am using row transformation. For the next, I am using column interchangeably, right? This is a term for term for column transformation. A will be equal to for column transformation, we will have to write i as the post multiplier, right? And this matrix A is 3 minus 1 minus 4, 2. What is this? This is minus 4 is equal to A times the matrix i, 1, 0, 0, 1, okay? Let us try to convert this into a matrix, uh, into the identity matrix. And how do we do that? Well, apply column transformation, right? We are supposed to apply column transformation. Let us convert this into a 1. So, C1 is replaced by 1 by 3, C1. What do you get is C1. This becomes 1, this becomes minus 4 by 3, okay? This is minus 1, this is 2, which is equal to A, 1 by 3, 0, 0, 1. What next? Since you have converted the first element A11, after that, in case of column transformation, we will have to convert this element into a 0, okay, along the row. The first row has to be solved first. So, R2, sorry, we are supposed to use column transformations, right? This plus this will give me the answer. C2 can be replaced by C2 plus C1. This plus this will give me the answer, right? So, C1 remains as it is 1 minus 4 by 3. C1 remains as it is. This plus this will be 0. This plus this would be 2 minus 4 by 3. 2 minus 4 by 3, six. this is 2 by 3 over here, right? What is this equal to? A times C1 remains as it is 1 by 3, 0. The sum of these two is 1 by 3 and 1. This is what I get over here on the RHS. What else? What else? Next. Next, we will try to convert this into a 1, right? Let us convert C2 replaced by 3 by 2 C2, okay, which gives me 1 minus 4 by 3 remain as it is. This is 0, this is 1, which is equal to A times. We are supposed to multiply C2 by 3 by 2. This is 1 by 3, this is 0. 3 by 2 times 1 by 3 is 1 by 2, and this is 3 by 2, right? That's what we have. What else? What else? What else? One more step remains. And uh, what's that step? This has to be converted into a 0, okay? So we'll multiply this with 4 by 3 and add there. C1 is replaced by C1 plus 4 by 3 C2. This C1, C1 is replaced by 4 by 3 plus this, and what does that give me? This is 1, 0, this becomes a 0, 1, which is equal to A times, what do you get over here is, the second column remains as it is, this is 1 by 2, this is 3 by 2, 
okay this is 1 by 2 this is 3 by 2 and 1 by 3 plus 4 by 3 times this what you will get is 1 by 3 c1 plus 4 by 3 times this 4 by 3 times 1 by 2 4 by 3 times 1 by 2 is 2 by 3 2 by 3 plus 1 by 3 is 1 over here this is what you will get okay for 0 plus 3 by 2 times 4 by 2 3 4 by 3 times 3 by 2 4 by 3 times 3 by 2 is 4 by 2 which is 2 this is what you will be getting over here right so 1 1 by 2 2 3 by 2 and therefore a inverse is this matrix 1 1 by 2 2 3 by 2 this is supposed to be my inverse but one more thing which remains is when you are asked to find inverse using elementary transformation always check your answer because there are a lot of calculations involved and a huge probability of making a silly mistake always check your calculations let us check a a inverse what you get is a matrix a is this 3 minus 1 minus 4 2 what is a inverse that is a inverse that is the a inverse that we have found right so let us use that 1 2 1 by 2 3 by 2 this is 3 by 2 right let us multiply them together what do you get over here is 3 minus 2 3 minus 2 is 1 3 by 2 minus 3 by 2 which is 0 minus 4 plus 4 which is 0 minus 2 plus 3 which is 1 minus 2 plus 3 which is 1 right this is what you get yes this is the identity matrix therefore this is the inverse of that matrix over there that matrix the inverse is this final answer and that is all in this question let us talk about this question we are supposed to use elementary transformation find the inverse of this matrix let us use row transformations in this yeah we have been using alternatively row and column and it is time to take a look at row transformation right so let us call this matrix a so a would be equal to i a i will be pre multiply right and in this case this is 2 1 minus 6 minus 2 which is equal to 1 0 0 1 times a the steps that we will follow is we will convert this into a 1 first the first element first to first column using row transformation so r1 can be replaced with r1 into 1 by 2 okay the second row remains as it is this becomes 1 this becomes minus 3 this is 1 this is minus 2 which is equal to 1 by 2 0 0 1 times matrix a pretty simple yeah pretty simple what else next we will convert this into 0 so r2 can be replaced with r2 minus r1 and what will that give me this will be equal to 1 minus 3 this minus this which is a 0 minus 2 minus or minus 3 that was minus 2 plus 3 which is 1 is equal to what this is equal to 0 minus half sorry r1 remains as it is 1 by 2 and 0 0 minus 1 by 2 is become my, my, my 1 by 2 this is 1 and this is matrix a this matrix a i hope that's clear yeah what next this one this zero this one is okay okay this one has already been created so next what you will require is we'll have to convert this into a zero so r1 can be replaced with r1 plus 3 times r2 and that will give me this is 1 0 0 1 which is equal to r1 plus 3 r2 this plus 3 times this 1 by 2 minus 3 by 2 1 by 2 minus 3 by 2 is minus 2 by 2 which is minus 1 0 plus 3 this minus 1 by 2 is okay 1 is okay and this is the matrix a so therefore a inverse that we are getting a inverse is this matrix what is that minus 1 minus 1 by 2 3 1 yeah and uh, once we have solved this matrix this a inverse the only important thing that remains is checking this particular answer so let us check the answer let us check a a inverse is equal to what is the value of a a is 2 minus 6 1 minus 2 what is a inverse a inverse is minus 1 3 minus 1 by 2 1 let us multiply them together and see what do we get this is minus 2 and plus 6 by 2 plus 3 minus 2 plus 3 is 1 6 minus 6 is gone minus 1 and plus 1 which is 0 3 minus 2 which is 1 and yes this is okay therefore yes this is the inverse of that matrix as asked right this is 11th part for us let us take a look at this question using elementary transformations find the inverse of each of these right let us try to find the inverse of each of these matrices over here and once we are approaching this question what are we supposed to do we are supposed to use elementary transformations which transformations do you think can we use we can use row or column 
let us write this question with row transformation, right? Row transformation, yeah. This is matrix A, let, okay. So, what you observe over here is A is equal to I A, row transformation. In case of row transformation, I should be written as a pre multiplier, okay. And uh, which gives me 6 minus 2 minus 3, 1. This will be equal to 1, 0, 0, 1 times this matrix A over here. Times this matrix A over here. What next? Once you are through with this, the first thing that we are supposed to do is convert this into a 1. Okay, A11 A equal to a 1. So, we are using row transformations R1 can be replaced with 1 by 6 R1. What does it give me? 1 minus 3 by 6 which is minus 1 by 2. This is minus 2, this is 1, okay. This is equal to what? 1 by 6, 0, 0 and 1. This is matrix A, right? I hope that is clear. What next? What next? Once we have converted this into a, okay, once we have dealt with this R1, this element first A11, in case of row transformation, we will talk about this column next, right? This particular element next, the first column, right? So, uh, let us try to convert this into a 0. What you do is R2 can be replaced by R2 plus 2 times R1, right? This is minus 2, this will be 2 times 1 and you can add them together and what you get over here is, this is 1 minus half which is okay, that is not an issue and this is minus 2 plus 2 which is a 0. This 1 plus 2 times minus half, 2 times 1 by 2 is minus 1. 1 minus 1 is a 0. Pretty interesting. This particular row becomes all 0. Okay. What do you have in the RHS is, it is not required actually, but let us write the RHS as well. 1 by 6, 0 is okay. This is 0 plus 2 by 6, which is 1 by 3 and this is 1, this is A. And at this stage, at this stage, while applying the elementary transformations, elementary row transformations, if you get all zeros in a particular row, you will never be able to create this into a 1, right? You will never be able to create this into a 1 and therefore, therefore, the next step does not follow and we say, we say at this stage, we realize since all elements of R2 are 0, comma therefore therefore we say that we say that inverse therefore a inverse does not exist okay so inverse is not necessary inverse inverse existence of inverse is not necessary for all square matrices for this matrix inverse does not exist for this matrix inverse does not exist so we cannot find the inverse of this particular matrix right that is all as you can clearly observe the steps, right? Had we used column transformations also, had we used column transformations, we would have arrived at a similar result, right? Alternative. You could use column transformations as well. For column transformations, we will have to write A is equal to A i. What does that give me? 6 minus 3 minus 2, 1. In case of column transformations, a particular, right? For row transformation, one particular row become all zero. In case of column transformations, one particular column may become all zero. This is equal to what do you have? A times this matrix. A times identity matrix 1, 0, 0, 1. The first step that we will apply is the first step. What you observe is C1 can be replaced with 1 by 6 C1. What does that give me? This is 1 minus 2 by 6, which is minus 1 by 3. This is minus 3, this is 1, which is equal to A times 1 by 6, 0, 0, 1. Next, we try to, in case of column transformations, we will have to solve for the first row. So, first row, the first element has been solved. Let us try to convert this into a 0. So, we will have to multiply this with 3 and add over there. C2 can be replaced with C2 plus 3 times C1. What does that give me? C2 plus 3 times C1. C2 plus 3 times this. So, this is 1 minus 1 by 3 is okay. 3 times this add minus 3 plus 3 will become 0. 1 minus 3 times 1 by 3. 1 minus 1 will be 0, right? Right. And yes, this is another issue. There is an issue here as well. Yeah, there is an issue here as well. This is 1 by 6. This is 0. 
and this is 3 by 6 is 1 by 2, this becomes a 1 by 2, this becomes 1, this remains as it is. And you can observe over here, since, 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 C2 is all 0 implies inverse does not exist. So you may use any transformation for that matter, any method, row transformation or column transformation in both the methods, you can observe that the inverse will not exist for this matrix over here, right? Let me get aside and you can take a look at the complete solution, first method as well as second method using row transformation as well as column transformation, right? That's all in this question. Let's talk about this question. What does the question say? Once again, let's find the inverse using row and column transformation. What do you have over is this matrix? Let's call this A and what I want to use is row transformation. For row transformation, I'll write i as the pre-multiplier. So a will be equal to i a. What will that give me? 2 minus 3 minus 1 2, which is equal to 1 0 0 1 times this matrix a. Right? First, we'll have to convert this into a 1. So r 1 can be replaced with 1 by 2 r 1. What will that give me? This is 1 minus 3 by 2 minus 1 2, which is equal to 1 by 2 0 0 1 times a. This is what I have. Right? This is what I have. After converting this element into a 1, we can convert this element into a 0. R2 can be replaced with R2 plus R1. So, R1 minus 3 by 2 remain as it is. This plus this will become a 0 and this plus this will become a 1 by 2, which is equal to 1 by 2 and 0 remain as it is. This plus 1 by 2 will be 1 by 2 and this will remain as it is, this is A. I hope that's okay, yeah. What next? Once you have converted this into a 1, this into a 0, this can be converted to a 1, right? Next. So, R2 can be replaced with 2 times R2. What you get is 1, 0, minus 3 by 2, this becomes 1, which is equal to, R2 is replaced by twice R2. So, this row becomes, this is 1 by 2 times 2, which is 1 over here and 1 times 2 is just 2. 1 by 2 and 0 remain as it is, this is matrix A. I hope that's okay. Yeah, that's pretty simple. What next? R2 is replaced by 2R2. What next? This can be converted into a 0 by using transformation R1 can be replaced with R1 plus 3 by 2 R2. 3 by 2 times 1 added to this will give you this. What does it give me? This is 1 plus 3 by 2 times 0 which is 1. 3 by 2 minus 3 by 2 plus this will be 0, this will be 0, this will be 1, which is equal to, what do you get over here is, please observe. The second row remains as it is, this remains as it is, and R1 plus 3 by 2 times this, 3 by 2 times this plus 1, 3 by 2 plus 1 by 2 is 4 by 2, which is 2. 3 by 2 times 2 is 3 plus 0, which is 3, this is what I am getting, okay. And therefore, A inverse is equal to what, 2, 3, 1, 2. This is the value of A inverse and you can verify, verify, please verify that this is the A inverse. How do we verify? Uh, we'll have to multiply them together and 2, 3, 1, 2. So 2 times 2 minus 3 is gone, that is 1. 2 times 3 is 6, minus 3 times 2 is also 6, minus 1 times 2 is 2, 2 times 1 is 2, this is also 0 and minus 3 plus 4 is 1, right? You can verify that and verification once verified, once verify. Therefore, that is the complete answer for this question over here. That's the answer. Yeah, this is the answer for this question. That's all. Yeah. Let's talk about this question. 2, 1, 4, 2. Finding the inverse of this particular question. Let's try to find the inverse. And uh, let's use row transformations. Okay. A is equal to IA. That's what I'll write it as. Let this matrix be A. Once we write it in this form, what are we supposed to do? A, the matrix A is 2, 1, 4, 2, which is equal to I, which is 1, 0, 0, 1 times the matrix A. We'll try to convert this matrix into identity matrix beginning from here. Let's replace R1 by R1 times 1 by 2. What does that give me? 1, 1 by 2, 4, 2, okay, is equal to 1 by 2, 0, 0, 1 times A. What next? Once you have this element as 1, we'll have to convert this into a 0. Let's try to convert this into a 0. And how do we do that? R2 is replaced with R2 
minus 4 times r1 and on doing this what we observe is the first row remains as it is 1, 1 by 2. 4 minus 4 times 1 is 0, 2 minus 4 times 1 by 2, 2 minus 4 by 2 which is 2 minus 2 0, Ooh, pretty interesting this, this is important right. So this is particular row, this particular row, second row becomes all 0 right. You get something in the RHS, but this row since all elements in R2 become 0, therefore inverse will not exist since R2 is all 0, comma, therefore inverse of given matrix does not exist. That's what we observed. The initial concepts we have already seen and this is the solution of this question. Let's take a look at this question. This is a 3 by 3 matrix and we are supposed to find the inverse of this 3 by 3 matrix using elementary row or column transformation. Now, what kind of transformation can we use over here? Let us use elementary row transformations. So, for elementary row transformation, the matrix A is equal to IA, I has to be written as pre-multiplier, that is the first thing. What next? We will try to convert the matrix on the left hand side into an identity matrix and how do we do that? We will go step by step, we will go step by step, what are the steps that will follow? I will explain the steps first. This is a 3 by 3 matrix, let us say given on the LHS and we will convert this element into a 1 first, right. We are using row transformations. So, for row transformations, the first column has will be solved first. So, after converting this one, this will be converted to 0, this will be converted to 0. Next, next, this will be converted to 1, right. After that, you can convert both of these to 0. After that, you will convert this into 1. After solving the first column, you will move to the second column. After that, you will move to the third column. This element will be converted to 1. After that, both these elements will be converted to 0. That is the process that you will follow. First, second, third. And in these, the first elements that you need to take care of are these 1. Okay. So, that is the process. That is the order in which we will move ahead. And in during this process, if you get all zeros in any row during this process, for row transformation, if you get all zeros in any row, you will say that inverse will not exist. Let us say if you were applying column transformation, let us say if you were applying column transformations, we will solve for the first row, after that for the second row, after that for the third row. And in case of column transformations, if you get all zeros in any column at any stage, you will say that inverse will not exist for that matrix. right? That is the important thing, that is the important thing. So, begin, begin by solving this is equal to A let and we will use row transformations to solve. Let us try and solve using row transformations. How do we go about solving for row transformations, right? We will write A equals I A, that is the first thing, right? I has to be written as a pre-multiplier, that is the most important thing. Once you are through with this, then we can say this is 2 minus 3, 3, 2, 2, 3, this is 3 minus 2, 2 is equal to this identity matrix 1, 0, 0, 1, 0 times this matrix A, right? This is the first thing. What is the first step that we follow? We will try to convert this into a 1, right? The 1 element, first row, first column and using row transformations, R1 is replaced by R1 times 1 by 2, right? And what you get is this. 2 by 2 is 1, minus 3 by 2, 3 by 2, rest everything remains same, 3 minus 2 and 2. Mind you, the steps have to be followed very carefully, calculations have to be done very carefully, right? This is 1 by 2, this is 0, this is 0, this is 0, 1, 0, this is 0, 0, 1 times matrix A, right? This is what you get. What else? What else? Once you have a 1 over here, we will convert this and this into zeros, right, using this one. So, R2 can be replaced with R2 minus 2 R1 and can you apply simultaneously for R3 as well? Yes, R3 can also be transformed using R1, both are being transformed using R1, we can do that. R3 minus 3 R1. So, what you get over here is, the first row remains as it is, first of all, the first row remains as it is, 1 minus 3 by 2 and 3 by 2, they remain as it is. 2 minus 2 becomes 0, 2 minus of this, twice of R1. So, minus of minus will become plus, twice of this will become 3, 
2 plus 3 will become 5. 3 minus twice of 3 by 2, 3 minus 3 which is 0 over here, this will become a 0, okay, very interesting. What about the third row, R3 is equal to R3 minus 3 R1, 3 minus 3 which is 0, minus 2 plus 9 by 2, minus 2 plus 9 by 2, 9 by 2 minus 2 which is 9 minus 4, 5 by 2, this is converting into 5 by 2, 2 minus 3 that is 9 by 2, 2 minus 9 by 2, 4 minus 9 which is minus 5 by 2 this is what we get after this, which is equal to on the RHS, on the RHS also the first row remains as it is 1 by 2, 0, 0, the first row remains as it is. The second row, R2 minus 2 times this, 0 minus 2 by 2, 0 minus 1, minus 1, 1 minus 2 is 1, 0 minus 0 is gone, okay. R3 minus 3, 0 minus 3 by 2, 0 minus 0 is gone and 1 minus 3 times 0 is 1 again, okay? this times A, this is what I get, this is what I get and can you please observe that we have solved first column, we have solved the first column complete, All right. Next we will focus on the second column using row transformations, we will convert this into a 1 first of all, we will convert this into a 1 first of all, let us do that. How do we convert this into a 1? Let us apply row transformations for converting this into a 1. What is the row transformation that we can apply? R2 can be replaced with R2 times 1 by 5, R2 times 1 by 5, that is a simple row transformation, yes. And what will this give us? This will give us, the first row remains as it is 1 minus 3 by 2, 3 by 2. The second row becomes 0, 1, 0. The third row remains as it is 0, 5 by 2, minus 5 by 2, okay, which is equal to what? Which is equal to, first row remains as it is 1 by 2, 0, 0. The second row gets divided by 5, so you get minus 1 by 5, 1 by 5, 0. The third row remains as it is, minus 3 by 2, 0, 1. This is matrix A, right? On the right hand side, you have a product of A. What else? Once you are through with this, so the next step that you want to apply is you want to solve the second column and convert this into a 0, this also into a 0. So let us try to convert both of them into 0. How do we do that? We will multiply this with 3 by 2, add over here. We will multiply this by 5 by 2 and subtract from here. So let us apply both of them, both these steps together. We can do that, yes. So R1 is replaced with R1 plus 3 by 2 R2. That's the first thing. And R1 can be replaced with R1 minus 5 by 2 R2. Right? These are the steps that I'm applying. And uh, since this is not required, we can get rid of all of those things and get more space over there, right? So let's get rid of all of these over here. These steps. You may have already gone through these steps. Right. Let's use the space over here and let's solve further. R1 is replaced with this and R3. So in the second transformation, we'll have to transform R3. Both of them are getting transformed using R2, which is okay, right? So in one particular step, at least one row should remain same. At least one row should remain same. Right? We are using R2 to transform both of them together. R1, R1 plus 3 by 2 R2. So 1 plus 3 by 2, this becomes 1. Minus 3 by 2 plus 3 by 2, which becomes 0. 3 by 2 plus 0, which is 0 sorry, 3 by 2 plus 0, which is 3 by 2. Okay, what next? The second row R2 remains as it is 0, 1, 0. The third row, 0 plus 5 by 2, this becomes 0. 5 by 2 minus 1 times 5 by 2, which becomes 5 by 2 only. And minus 5 by 2 minus 0 would become minus 5 by 2 only. This is what we have, right? Okay, this element also became 0 actually. 5 by 2 minus 5 by 2 will become 0. Right, that's the step that we have applied. Okay, check the calculations once again. Yeah, 3 by 2 times R2, 3 by 2 times R2 would be 0, 3 by 2 and minus 5 by 2 will remain as it is and that's all right. What about the RHS? In the RHS as well, the second row R2 remains as it is. This is minus 1 by 5, 1 by 5, 0. This remains as it is. The first row is transformed. R1 plus 3 by 2, R2. So 1 by 2, 
3 by 2 times this is added in this, right? 3 by 2 times 1 by 5, what is that? Minus 3 by 10. This is 5 by 10 minus 3 by 10. 5 by 10 minus 3 by 10 is 2 by 10, which is 1 by 5, okay? This plus 3 by 2 times this, 3 by 10. This plus 3 by 2 times this, which is 0 only. R3 minus 5 by 2 times this, okay? Minus 3 by 2, add minus 5 by 2 into minus 1 by 5, which is plus 1 by 2. Minus 3 by 2 plus 1 by 2. Minus 3 by 2, minus 2 by 2, which is minus 1, okay? 0 minus 5 by 2 times 1 by 5. So minus 1 by 2, this is minus 1 by 2. 1 minus 5 by 2 times 0 is 1 only, right? This is what you get. Calculations have to be done very easy, carefully. And uh, what else? What else? Once you have dealt with this column, this column, then now is the turn of this column and we will have to convert this element into a 1 first. So, let us do it. R3 can be replaced by R3 times minus 2 by 5, okay, reciprocal of this. And on doing this, what you get is 1, 0, 3 by 2 remain as it is, 0, 1, 0 remains as it is, 0, 0, 1, this is what it becomes. What next? On the right hand side, the first two rows will remain as it is, this is 1 by 5, this is 3 by 10, this is 0, this is minus 1 by 5, this is 1 by 5, this is 0 and uh, you will have to multiply this with minus 2 by 5, okay. Minus 1, minus 2 by 5 will become 2 by 5, okay. And uh, minus 2, minus minus will get cancelled, 2 and 2 gets cancelled, this is 1 by 5. 1 times minus 2 by 5 is minus 2 by 5, okay. This times A, this is what you get. On the RHS, this is what you get. What next? One more step remains. Convert this into a 0 using this. So R1, the next step that will apply is next step, we'll continue over here. R1 is replaced by R1 minus 3 by 2 times R3. Okay, what does that give me? This gives me 1, 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, 0, 0, 1. This is pretty simple. And what else on the right hand side? R1, sorry, R1 gets replaced with something. R2 and R3 remain as it is. So, let me write minus 1 by 5, 1 by 5, 0. This remains as it is. 2 by 5, 1 by 5, minus 2 by 5 remains as it is. This matrix A remains as it is. And what I am replacing R1 is R1 minus 3 by 2 R3. So, this minus 3 by 2 times this, okay. Let us do that. 3 by 2 into 2 by 5 is 3 by 5. 1 by 5 minus 3 by 5 is minus 2 by 5. This minus 3 by 2 times this. Now, 3 by 2 times 1 by 5 is 3 by 10. 3 by 10 minus 3 by 10 is actually 0, okay. Minus 3 by 10 gets multiplied with this. What do you get? 0 plus uh, 3 into 2, 3 by, sorry, 3 by 2. So, 3 by 5, this is what you get. 0 plus 3 by 5 will become 3 by 5 over here. This is what I am getting. And this here is identity matrix. This should be the inverse and this is matrix A. Therefore, A inverse is equal to this matrix. Minus 2 by 5, 0, 3 by 5, minus 1 by 5, 1 by 5, 0, 2 by 5, 1 by 5, minus 2 by 5. This should be my answer, but please do one more thing. What is that? One more thing is required. That is verification of this result. Right? And how do we verify this? We multiply with A and check whether this is the inverse or not. So, check is remaining. Let us check. Excuse me. A times A inverse. What is that giving me? A is 2 minus 3, 3. 2, 2, 3, 3 minus 2, 2 times another matrix. What is that? Minus 2 by 5, 0. 3 by 5. And minus 1 by 5, 1 by 5, 0. This here is 1 by 5. Okay. This is 2 by 5. This is 1 by 5. And this is minus 2 by 5. So, checking is very important and let us check this answer that we have just obtained. <sighs> okay, we will have to multiply them together and see what do we get over here. 2 times minus 2 by 5 is minus 4 by 5, okay. Minus 3 times minus 1 by 5 would be 3 by 5. And 3 times 2 is 6 by 5. 
what you get is 6 plus 3, 9 minus 4 is 5 by 5, which is 1. Okay, that's cool. 2 times 0 is gone. Minus 3 by 5 plus 3 by 5 is 0. Good. 6 by 5 minus 0 is gone. Minus 6 by 5 is again 0. This is what I get. Okay. First element is 1. Second element, third element. In the first row are all 0. Next. Minus 4 by 5 minus 2 by 5 plus 6 by 5. Minus 4 by 5 minus 2 by 5 is minus 6 by 5. Plus 6 by 5 will be 0. Okay. This converts to 0. 0 plus 2 by 5 plus 3 by 5. 2 by 5 plus 3 by 5 is 5 by 5, which is okay. 6 by 5, 0 and minus 6 by 5 is a 0, as you may observe over here, right? What next? Minus 6 by 5 plus 2 by 5 plus 4 by 5. Minus 6 plus 2 plus 4 is 0 by 5, which is 0. 3 times 0 is gone. Minus 2 by 5 plus 2 by 5 is again 0. 3 times 3 is 9 by 5. 0 is gone, minus 4 by 5, 9 by 5 minus 4 by 5 is 5 by 5, yes, and yes, this is 1, 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, 0, 0, 1, which is the identity matrix, this is okay, the check is okay, and yes, this is the correct answer for this question over here, that is the matrix, that is the inverse matrix as you may observe over here, is that all, yes, this is all in this question, let us discuss this question over here, using elementary transformations, we are supposed to find the inverse of this matrix given. Right, and what kind of a transformation should we use over here? Okay, uh, in one of the questions before this, we have used row transformations. Let us solve this question using column transformations. Okay, so for column, first let us say this is matrix A, and I am using column transformations over here. For column transformations, we will have to write i as the post multiplier A equals A i, which implies that this matrix 1, 3, minus 2, minus 3, 0, minus 5. 2, 5, 0 will be equal to A times this identity matrix 1, 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, 0, 0, 1. This is equal to this. The steps involved while applying the column transformations are this has to be converted to a 1. After that, we will move in case of column transformation, we will move along the row first. Okay, This here is already a 1. Right? So, we will convert this into a 0 and this into a 0. And using R1, R1 we can convert. Sorry, using C1, we can convert C2 and C3 both in same step, right? C2 will be replaced by C2 minus 3 times C1 and C3 will be replaced by C3 plus 2 times C1. This plus 2 times this, this minus 2 times this and we will get all 1, 0, 0 in the first row. What do you get over here is this implies C1 remains as it is, 1 minus 3, 2, this remains as it is. This minus 3 times this, 3 minus 3 becomes 0. 0 minus 3 times minus 3 becomes 9. 5 minus 3 times 2, 5 minus 6 becomes minus 1. This plus 2 times this is 0. This plus 2 times this, okay, minus 6 minus 5, the sum is minus 11. This plus 2 times this is 4, which is equal to A times. What do you have over here is the first column remains as it is. The second column, this minus 3 times this becomes minus 3. This is 1, this is 0. This plus 2 times this, okay, 2 times C1 becomes 2. This is 0, this is 1 only. That is what we obtained, right? This is what we have. What else? What else? Once you have all 1, 0, 0 over here, next, what we are supposed to do is convert this into a 1 in the second row. Let us focus on the second row. So, C2 will be replaced by 1 by 9 C2 first of all this what will this convert into the overall thing that will get is this what you get is C1 remains as it is 1 minus 3 2 this is 0 this is 1 and this is minus 1 by 9 pretty interesting this is minus 1 by 9 the third row, the th third column remains as it is 0, minus 11, 4. Very carefully. The first column remains as it is 1, 0, 0. The second column becomes, the second column is divided by 9. This is minus 3 by 9, which is minus 1 by 3. Then you have 1 by 9 and then you have a 0. The third column remains as it is 2, 0, 1. Okay. Now, using this one that we have just obtained, what we will do is we will convert, we will convert, this is already 0, we will convert this into a 0, right? Let us do it. 
sorry after you have solved the first two no not this minus 1 by 9 using this one we'll have to convert these two into zeros right <sighs> okay in column transformation we have to solve for the second row after this in the second row what you do is this has to be replaced c1 has to be replaced by c1 plus 3 times c2 and c3 has to be replaced by c3 plus 11 times c2 can you observe 3 times this is added and 11 times this is added to this. So, C1 and C3 both transform to give zeros in the second row. Let us use this. What you get over here is this. This first column is getting transformed. Okay. This plus 3 times this. This plus 3 times this is 1. This plus 3 times this is 0. This plus 3 times this. Okay. 2 minus 3 by 9. 2 minus 1 by 3. 6 minus 1. 5 by 3. This will give me 5 by 3. Right. The second column remains as it is 0, 1, minus 1 by 9. The third column is getting transformed. 0 plus 11 times this is 0. Minus 11 plus 11 is 0. 4 minus 11 by 9. Now, 4 minus 11 by 9. 9, 4, 36 minus 11 is 25 by 9. This is what I am getting. This is 25 by 9, right? This is a matrix on the left hand side. What about on the right hand side? You have A. And let us use transformation, the same transformations on the right hand side as well. C1 plus 3 C2. So, this plus 3 times this. 3 times minus 1 by 3 is minus 1, 1 plus 1 is 0. This plus 3 times this, 3 by 9 is 1 by 3. 0 plus 0 is 0 only. What next? C2 remains as it is minus 1 by 3, 1 by 9 and 0. What about C3? Now, C3 is getting transformed using this. C3 plus 11 times C2. So, 11 times this, minus 11 by 3. 2 minus 11 by 3, 2 minus 11 by 3, 6 minus 11, that is minus 5 by 3 is what I am getting over here. What next? C3 plus 11 C2, this plus 11 by 9 is 11 by 9. Okay. What else? This plus 11 times 0 is 1 only. That is what we get. Right. On the right hand side, this is what you are getting. And once we have solved this row, we will solve this row after converting this element over here, A33 into 1. So, let us do it using column transformations, mind you. So, C3 will be replaced by, C3 will be replaced by 9 by 25 C3. That is the important step. And let us do it. Let us get rid of this whole thing over here. And let us solve the next step over here, which gives me the matrix on the left hand side. What will that become? C3, C1 and C2 will remain as it is, 1, 0, 5 by 3 remains as it is, 0, 1, minus 1 by 9 will remain as it is, this is 0, 0 and 1, which will be equal to A times the matrix over here, C1 remains as it is, 0, 1 by 3, 0, then you have minus 1 by 3, 1 by 9, 0, And you have minus 5 by 3, multiply it with 9 by 25. Okay, 9 by 3 is 3 in the numerator, 5 in the denominator with a minus. So, you get a 3 by 5. Okay, 11 by 9 times 9 by 25 is 11 by 25. And last is 9 by 25. This is what you get on the RHS. Now, using this one, we have to convert this and this into 0, right? So, let us replace C1 by C1 minus 5 by 3 C3. 5 by 3 times 1 will be subtracted. C2 can be replaced as C2 plus 1 by 9 C3. This plus 1 by 9 times this. And that will give us the required thing. Yes. Right. Let us apply this a step next. Can we get rid of this? Yeah. We can get rid of this thing. We are using two transformations, yes. C1 and C2 will be replaced with the help of C3. So, C3 remains constant. C3 remains same. What do you get in C1 is C1 minus 5 by 3 C3. 1 minus 5 by 3 times this. That is not an issue. This is 1. This is 0 only. This will become a 0. Okay. The next one, C2 plus 1 by 9 times this will become 0, 1 and this will become 0. This will remain 0, 1, sorry, 0, 0, 1 only which is equal to A times this matrix. Now, this matrix has to be written very carefully. C1 minus 5 by 3 times C3. This minus 5 by 3 times this. Okay. 5 
5 by 3 times 3 by 5 is 1, minus or minus will become plus. So, the 0 plus 1 is 1 over here, okay. This minus 5 by 3 times this, now 5 by 3, what do you get is 11 by 5, 11 by 15 over here, right. So, 1 by 3 minus 11 by 15 is 5 by 15 minus 11 by 15 is minus 6 by 15 and minus 6 by 15 would be minus 2 by 5 actually. So, this is what you get on this now. What next? This minus 5 by 3 times this, okay. 5 by 3 times this would be 3 by 5 over here, minus 3 by 5. So, this minus 3 by 5 would be minus 3 by 5. This is what I am getting over here. What next? C2. C2 is once again C2 plus 1 by 9 times this. This plus 1 by 9 times this. What do you get over here is, observe. This is minus 1 by 3. This is minus 1 by 15, right? Minus 1 by 15. So, minus 1 by 3 minus 1 by 15 is minus 5 by 15 minus 1 by 15, which is minus 6 by 15. Minus 6 by 15 would be minus 2 by 5, right? This is what you get. This plus 1 by 9 times this, okay. So, 1 by 9 plus 1 by 9 times this would be actually uh, 1 plus 11 by 25, which is 36 by 25 times 1 by 9. 36 upon 9 is 4. 4 by 25 is what I am getting over here. Very interesting. All right. 4 by 25. What next? This plus 9 by 1 by 9 times this. 1 by 9 times 9 by 25 is 1 by 25. This plus this is 1 by 25. The last column remains as it is. Minus 3 by 5. Okay. 11 by 25 is also okay and 9 by 25 is okay. This is what you have. So, I equals A times something. Therefore, A inverse would be this matrix which is 1 minus 2 by 5 minus 3 by 5 minus 2 by 5 4 by 25 1 by 25 minus 3 by 5 11 by 25 9 by 25. This is the matrix A inverse. One important thing which remains in case of elementary transformations is to verify this answer. Let us verify this answer, right? Okay, can we verify this orally? Uh, I think it would be difficult, but then we can do this, right? 1 times 1 is 1, 3 times minus 2 by 5 is minus 6 by 5 and plus 6 by 5. Minus 6 by plus 6 by 5 will get cancelled, 1 will remain. The first element is okay. 1, 3, minus 2, let us multiply next. Minus 2 by 5 plus 12 by 25, okay, and minus 2 by 25. So, minus 2 by 5, 12 by 25 and minus 12, 2 by 25. 12 by 25 minus 2 by 25 is 10 by 25, which is 2 by 5. And you have minus 2 by 5 in the beginning, minus 2 by 5 plus 2 by 5, the second, this element is also okay, okay, that will be 0. Next, first row with the third column over there, minus 3 by 5. 33 by 25, okay. What I am doing is minus 3 by 5 plus 33 by 25. I am checking this element A13 of the product, right. This is minus 3 by 5 plus 33 by 25 minus 18 by 25, right. So, 33 minus 18 is actually 15 and this also is minus 15. Minus 15 plus 15 would be 0. This is also okay. The first row is 1, 0 and 0 in the product of A and A inverse. What about the second row? So, minus 3, 0, minus 5, what you get is minus 3, 0 is gone and this is plus 3, minus 3 plus 3 will be 0, very interesting. Next, this is 6 by 5, 0 is gone and minus 1 by 5, 6 by 5 minus 1 by 5 is 5 by 5 which is 1, which is also okay. What about the last, last element over there? Minus 3, minus 3 is 9 by 5, 0 is gone. And this is minus 9 by 5, which is again 0. So, this element is also okay. We verify the second row. The second row would be 0, 1, 0 in the product. What about the third row? 2 times this, 2 is this, 2 minus 2 is gone, okay. Minus 4 by 5 and plus 4 by 5. Minus 4 by 5 plus 4 by 5 would be 0. The last term, minus 6 by 5 and this is 11 by 5. Minus 6 by 5 plus 11 by 5 is 5 by 5, which is 1. Okay, that's true. So, we have checked actually. Check has been done orally more or less, but then you can always do the calculations in your copy very easily and verify that this is the correct answer for this question over here. This A inverse is true. That's the 16th part for us over here. Let's discuss this question. Using elementary transformations, we are supposed to find the inverse of this matrix. What is the transformation that we can use? 
we can use row or column transformations. Let's try this one with row transformation. Let's call this A and what we are supposed to use is row transformation. Now using row transformation, what you can say is, please observe, A will be equal to IA. This is how I write it as. This matrix A over here is 2, 0, minus 1, 5, 1, 0, 0, 1, 3, which is equal to I, 1, 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, 0, 0, 1, times this matrix A, right? This is what I have. Steps. This has to be converted into a 1 and after that this column has to be converted. So R1 can be replaced with 1 by 2 R1. What you get is 1 by 2 times this which is 1, 0, minus 1 by 2. The rest everything remains same. 0, 1, 3. Which is equal to what? This is 1 by 2, 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, 0, 0, 1 times A, matrix A. This is what we have, right? Is there anything special in this? No, there is something special in this. Okay, R1 is replaced with 1 by 2 R1. What next? We will convert this into a 0. So, R2 will be replaced with R2 minus 5 times R1. This here is already a 0. We do not need to worry about this element. So, 1, 0 minus 1 by 2 will remain as it is. 5 minus 5 will become 0. 1 minus 0 will become 1. And 0 minus 5 times minus 1 by 2 is 5 by 2. The third row remains as it is 0, 1, 3 time is equal to what you have over here is the first row remains as it is half 0, 0 and this minus 5 times this is minus 5 by 2, 1, 0. The third row remains as it is 0, 0, 1 times A. This is what you have, right? So, this is simplified, right? In the second column, this element should have been 1. Should have been would have been converted to 1 had it not been 1, but it is already 1. So, let us try to convert the rest 2 into 0. This is already 0. Let us try to convert this into 0 then. So, R3 is replaced with R3 minus R2. That is a simple step, yeah. And what does it give me? R1 remains as it is 1, 0 minus 1 by 2. This is 0, 1, 5 by 2. The next, this minus this is 0, 1 minus 1 is 0. 3 minus 5 by 2 is 1 by 2. Okay. What else? On the right hand side, again you will have same R1 and R2, but R3 will be different. This is 1 by 2, 0, 0. This is minus 5 by 2, 1, 0. And this minus this is 5 by 2. Minus 1 and 1 times A. This is what I have. Right? That is all. Yeah. Next step, next step. What we do is we try to convert this into a 0, this into a 1. So, R3 is replaced with R3 times 1, sorry, R3 times 2. What does that give me? This is 1, 0, minus 1 by 2, 0, 1, 5 by 2 and 0, 0, 1, which is equal to 1 by 2, 0, 0, minus 5 by 2, 1, 0 and 2 times this is 5, minus 2, 2 times A. This is what I have. This is a matrix A for us. Right. What next? What next? We will convert both of these into 0. And can we do that in one step? Yeah. R1 can be replaced with R1 plus 2 times, sorry, R1 plus 1 by 2 times R3. Let us multiply this with 1 by 2 and add over here. Let us multiply this one by 1 by 2 and add, add over here. R2 can be replaced with R2 minus 5 by 2 times R3. This is what I can do and what you will get over here is this. The first row, in the first row you will get 1, 0, 0. This will become 0, 1, 0. This will become 0, 0, 1. Right? R1 will become R1 plus half times R3. This is gone. And this minus 5 by 2 times this, this will be gone. And this is what you get is equal to what? Over here, this is first row. R1 plus half R3. Half times this. Add over here. 5 by 2 plus 1 by 2 is 6 by 2, which is 3. 5 by 2 times minus 2 is minus 5. Add over there is minus 5. 5 by 2 times 2 is, sorry, sorry, just a minute, just a minute, just a minute. What to do? Half times R3, okay, half times R3 added over here. Half times R3, which is minus 1 added over here, would be minus 1. Half times R3 is 1 add over there, would be 1, okay. 5 by 2 times R3 subtract, okay. This is 5 by 2 into 5, which will be 25 by 2, right. And minus 5 by 2 minus or minus 25, that is plus 25 by 2, right. That is what you will be getting, yeah. 
no minus 5 by 2 and minus 25 by 2 minus 5 by 2 minus 25 by 2 is minus 30 by 2 minus 30 by 2 is minus 15 actually this becomes minus 15 is it let us confirm that minus 5 by 2 minus 25 by 2 is minus 30 by 2 which is minus 15 okay 1 plus 5 which is 6 okay and 0 minus 5 which is minus 5 okay this is what I get the third row remains as it is 5 minus 2 2 and this is matrix A using all of this we can say that i is equal to something times a that something has to be the inverse of this given matrix over here therefore the answer would imply therefore a matrix the matrix a is 3 sorry a inverse is 3 minus 1 1 minus 15 6 minus 5 5 minus 2 2 this is the matrix a inverse for us this is the matrix a inverse for us as you can clearly observe one important thing remains, what is that? Checking, checking is means. So let's check the product A, A inverse, what is that equal to? So A, A inverse can be found 2 times 3 is 6, this is gone. 6 minus 5 is 1, this is okay, yeah. 2, 0, minus 1, minus 2 and plus 2, which is 0, good. 2 times 1 is 2 and minus 2 is again 0, this is okay, this is okay. What next? 5, 1, 0, 5, 3, 15, minus 15 is 0, okay. 5, 1, minus 5 plus 6 is 1, which is okay. 5 minus 5 is 0, good. Then 0, 1, 3, 0 times 3 is gone. Minus 15 plus 15 is 0, very interesting, right? 0, 1, 3, this is 6 minus 6, which is 0, okay. This is 1, minus 5 plus 6, which is 1. And yes, this is the identity matrix. Since this is the identity matrix, therefore, we can say, since this product is identity, therefore, yes, this is the inverse. That is, me, uh, that is the correct answer for this question over here. That's all. Yes, that is all in this question as you can see. Let's talk about this question. Matrices A and B will be inverse of each other only if, only if. There are four options. This is a uh, MCQ question, right? There are four options given. And definition of inverse says that A, B will be equal to BA will be equal to the identity matrix, right? This is important. And which of these options say this? This is option D. That is the correct answer for this question over here. Is that all? Yes. Directly from the definition, we can say that if A and B are inverse of each other, the product AB will be equal to I, the product BA will also be equal to the identity matrix and that is what is required over here. That is all for this question as you can see clearly. And with this, we come to the conclusion of this session in which we have discussed exercise 3.4, all questions from NCERT class 12th, the chapter matrices. Inverse is something which we discussed in this complete exercise. Uh, I hope you have understood all of these things very easily. Yes. And uh, in case you have any queries, you can let us know. Other than that, uh, if you have liked, if you haven't not liked this video, please like this video, share this video with your friends and also subscribe to our channel of your certification for latest updates related to IDJ, NEET, BOOTS and all, right?